Hey guys, welcome to this completing the square conic section video. Andy math. First thing we want to do is separate the x stuff and the y stuff. x squared plus 8x, y squared minus 6y, and we have the 11 on that side. Since neither of the squared values has a coefficient that's other than 1, we can just jump right into the completing the square. So I'm going to put plus space, plus space, plus space, plus space. Then we divide this eight by two, we get four, and we square it, we get 16. And I'm gonna put the 16 over here as well. Then we divide negative six by two, we get negative three, square it, we get nine, and I'm gonna put a nine right here as well. Then the reason I brought those down, the half values, is because that is the perfect square. And this one is also the perfect square. So those are the values you're going to use for your perfect square. Equals an 11 plus 16 plus 9 is 36. So looking at this, we can tell it's a circle centered at negative 4 comma 3 with a radius of 6. That wasn't what they asked for though. They just wanted the equation. So that's the answer to the question. Hope this makes sense. Please like and subscribe. I've done three more of these completing the square videos at andymath.com if you want more practice. And I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.